everybody. Thanks for joining us for another Panther Chat. Uh, my name is Kate Douglas. I am one of the admissions counselors here at Kentucky Wesleyan College. And um, today we're going to talk about our communication arts program. Um, it's one of our academic programs on campus. It is a major um, that you might be interested in. And here joining us to talk about this program is our assistant professor and program coordinator um, of communication arts, Andrew Bolin. Hi, good afternoon, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. Ready for the semester, I think. <laughs> yes, I agree with you, me too, yeah. All right, well, um, we'll go ahead and jump into some questions right. if that works for you. Absolutely. So first of all, if you wanna just kind of tell us a little bit about yourself, um, what led you into communication arts? What led you to want to teach communication arts? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I grew up in Southern Indiana and actually went to college at the University of Southern Indiana. And uh, I, I wanted to go into sports broadcasting. Um, I like to watch sports. I'm not very athletic myself. Uh, so I thought, what better way than to get a job uh, talking about sports? So I did uh, my undergrad and uh, got my master's there at USI. And while I was there, I did a lot of sports broadcasting uh, for, for the Eagles, uh, which is a division to rival of us here at Kentucky Wesleyan. So don't hold that against me, right? Uh, I actually have a shirt that's split USI and, and Wesleyan now that I wear to all the sporting events, which is kind of fun. Do you really? I do, yeah. I'm a geek like that, right? I know. That's it's, hilarious. It's, um, but uh, that, that's where the passion came from, was was really in, enjoyed um, the idea of, of talking about sports. So I got into college radio. Uh, so I, I was a morning DJ for uh, several years. Uh, and, uh, you know, I always got the unsatisfactory mark of, of talking too much in school. And so now I can just sort of laugh at my teachers that gave me those marks, like, look at me now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching uh, communication. So, um, but, uh, so I, I sort of started teaching one, two classes here and there after getting my master's degree, absolutely fell in love with it. I was teaching media production. Uh, so the idea of, of uh, creating videos, creating audio production for the radio, things like that, podcasting, um, and, and just fell in love with it. And so, uh, talking with a mentor of mine, uh, really recommended to go and, and get my PhD. So I am at the finishing stages of my PhD right now. I will be defending my dissertation uh, coming up this semester. So hopefully all goes well. I will be a doctor uh, by the time this semester is over at the very start of next semester, hopefully. So uh, awesome. So that, that's Congratulations. Exciting. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're keeping our fingers crossed. All this COVID stuff kind of, you know, gets in the way. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, found myself here at Kentucky Wesleyan last year as my first year teaching and uh, really excited about the program and kind of the potential of what we've got going on. Okay, that's great. Yeah, I, I knew you were working on your doctorate, but I couldn't remember where you were in the process. So. Yeah, right at the so end, I can see it. It's right there. <laughs> yes, yes. Light at the end of the tunnel, right? Exactly. Very cool. Well, um, just so our students who are, you know, maybe interested in this program, maybe they don't necessarily know even, you know, what topics are covered and stuff. So um, what are some topics that are covered? What are some classes maybe that these students would take? We have two emphasis for our majors. Uh, you can actually major and minor in communication arts, which is nice. And we have two emphases that, that we uh, have for our majors. Uh, one is public relations and advertising. And with that major, we really look at uh, kind of the, local to global impact of creating those media messages. So what does it look like to do audience ratings? Uh, what does it look like to do a social media marketing campaign? What are the ins and outs of Google Analytics, of Facebook Analytics, and, and, and how important are, you know, watching those numbers and, and what do those numbers mean? So it's kind of a, a really neat intensive program that, that looks at kind of that, that data crunching but we also kind of bring in the creative aspect of that as well. That was one thing um, that I, I, I hate numbers. I'm not a math person, which is why I'm in, I'm in communications. And so 
the idea of crunching numbers just doesn't really fly with me, but you know, creating and writing and, and producing the video or audio content of, of commercials or a social media campaign is, is really exciting. And so we really take a look at, at that aspect with the public relations and, and, uh, and advertising emphasis. Then we have a media studies emphasis, which is really geared towards students that are interested in anything that's related to uh, radio, television, journalism, news, sports, anything that's really going to be more um, performance based. And so uh, we have a campus radio station here at, at KWC, 90.3 WKWC, and uh, we broadcast live 24 7 all around the Owensboro and Davis County area. And we have students on there. So our majors and even non-majors are on our campus station. And so it gets them real opportunities to explore the idea of what it's like to be in a real radio station. Um, and, and so the, the idea of media studies then is preparing those students for those jobs in media, whether it's becoming a, a MMJ, a multimedia journalist. So they're lugging the cameras out to, to shoot the, the news stories, doing the live stand-ups, uh, you know, breaking news or something like that, or, uh, you know, sitting back and, and listening to music. And so some really cool opportunities for our students. We just recently this summer got a grant uh, to build out a, a podcast studio, which is where I'm at right now. Um, and so uh, really interested to get into kind of that area of media. Uh, to to delve into the idea of creating podcast, managing podcast, uh, how how is that different than radio production, um, and so you know again a lot of hands on activities in our courses for students. That's great. Yeah, I was gonna say you look, you know, like you're really ready for this um, <laughs> right, right. conversation with your mic and everything. Yeah, you look much more impressive and professional than I do in my uh, office. Hey, you look great. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks. You got a nice window behind you there. Yes, yes, exactly. Nice big window. All right, well, you kind of went into this a little bit um, with your answer to that last question, but um, what, what are a lot of the different hands-on opportunities, um, you know, that are available both on campus, maybe off campus? Um, you know, are there jobs and things like that that people have had outside that would be kind of hands-on types of experiences? Part of the requirement for the communication arts is that we have four hours of what we call practicum or internships. And this is true of a lot of our majors at Westland, but specifically to communication arts, we really wanna get students working alongside professionals in the industry. And so uh, we, we try and sort of start them out freshman and sophomore year working with our on-campus radio station or our online student newspaper, The Panagram, where they're writing. So if they're really interested in, in news, oh, my lights just went off. I got, I got a wave. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about like, that. Oh, no, I lost it. <laughs> Uh, uh, the motion sensor, I'm, I'm, I'm being too, too, too still. So uh, anyways, um, so our, our students uh, that are interested in, in news and journalism, uh, they can take college credit and write for our online newspaper. Uh, students that are interested in, like I said, radio DJing or, or just sort of getting the idea of, of media production uh, can work and earn college credit uh, through our, our campus radio station. And then their junior and senior year, what we really try and do is work with community organizations and businesses and get students internships in the community that can actually lead to first jobs after graduation. So we have students that have interned with Kentucky Legend, which if you're not familiar with that, they're a, a huge employer in the Owensboro area known for Kentucky Legend meat um, and, and their ham, which is delicious. Um, but in their PR and advertising uh, area. And so uh, students can, can work with uh, Kentucky Legend Ham and, and, and f see what it's like to design social media campaigns for a, a meat company. You know, you wouldn't think that would sound interesting, but, uh, but, but they get to do that. We have students that intern with our local TV and radio stations in and around the area as well. And so again, really putting uh, the opportunity out there for students to work alongside professionals that could turn into careers and, and first jobs out of the gate, which is huge for our students. Yeah, I know. I mean, internships are just so important, like you said, with any program, but with this one, especially with it being so hands-on, um, just the program itself, 
yeah, yeah, those are very you know, cool opportunities. We, we, we try and teach students and give them their skills in their class, but until you put it into practice and, and see it in real life, it, it, it really makes that eye, eye open pop up and, and, and just, oh, this is what he was talking about type of thing, so. Yeah. Right, that's great. All right, well, um, you know, you kind of, again, went into this a little bit, but um, as far as actual career opportunities, you know, what have you maybe seen some students, um, you know, go into from this or what are some opportunities that you know of, maybe even some that people wouldn't necessarily associate with communication arts, but just different paths they could take after this? Obviously the big ones we think of are, are journalism, news, radio production. Those are kind of the biggies and in, in, in the gimmies. Um, and with our public relations and advertising emphasis, we're seeing a, a desire from companies that, that want students that, to engage in the social media marketing. And so, you know, it goes beyond just being able to post something on Facebook and Twitter or, or Instagram, but, but then digging into the analytics. And, and so one of our classes is a senior seminar, and we uh, actually have students working on uh, social media campaigns in that class. And so they get the back end of what it looks like to, to look at Google Analytics and search keywords and, and why certain keywords work better than others and things like that. And so, um, you know, again, we're trying to train students for these jobs. And so that's, that's huge. And um, anymore, we're really seeing businesses, uh, corporations, organizations, nonprofit organizations, seeing the need for a strong communicator. Uh, someone that can get the message out there and social media is big for that, you know, so the idea of uh, doing these live chats like we're doing or, uh, you know, posting a picture or video, uh, doing an interview, whatever that is, and, and being able to get it to multiple channels becomes a, a huge coup for these organizations to get their message out there. And so, um, you know, we, we see graduates gravitate to all different kinds of fields, uh, whether they're really interested in sports or or they're really interested in news. Uh, some of them are, are, are working in the business sector, in public relations, in advertising and marketing. Um, and we encourage our students to even look at a marketing minor uh, to really kind of complement the creative side with that business side. And so, um, you know, we, we really have our hands in a lot of different areas, um, which is kind of cool, you know, that you could do so much with a communications degree. Yeah, I feel like, Communication arts is always one of those that um, just can go so many different directions. Um, yeah, just very, very versatile. Absolutely. Um, we, we have classes. A lot of people think, oh, it's just speech, you know, and, and, and no, oh man, there's so much more. Yes, we have public speaking, we have interpersonal communication, uh, but there are just so many more in different areas that we specialize in uh, to, to explore communication. Right. Well, and like you said, I mean, every organization that I've ever worked for, which is, you know, four or so organizations, they've all been very different types of organizations, mm -hmm. but all of them have needed that communications person. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Well, this is a fun question. So what would you say is your favorite thing about the program? Oh, man, that's a tough one. Um, I really love the production side of things. And so whether it's, um, you know, creating videos, creating audio, uh, that's always fun. And, and I always like um, seeing students start out as a freshman, unsure of, of how editing software works, or you mean I get to lug this huge camera around campus, you know, to, to being a senior and producing final projects um, and, and just seeing that transition and students grow is, is huge. And, and so uh, it's always fun to, we get to send stuff to competitions all the time uh, to see students win awards, win scholarships for some of their work that they've done and, and to be proud of that. And so it's always fun to be a part of that aspect. Yeah, absolutely. Good answer. <laughs> All right, well, is there anything else that you would like our prospective students to know about the program? Anything else you wanna share? Yeah, just know that we, we're in the back half of campus. Um, and so we're, we're kind of social distanced from the rest of campus ourselves. That's um, a good point. Right? <laughs> uh, but, you know, come out and, and check us out. We're in the Ralph Center, which is, like I said, in the back part of campus. That's where our classroom is, where our computer labs and our radio stations at. 
uh, you'll probably get an email about uh, being a part of our radio station at the start of the semester. Uh, check us out, you know, find out more information about our program, what you could do uh, with it. Um, a lot of times, uh, you know, students, oh, you, you have a radio station, oh, we can do this, you know, so uh, there are a lot of opportunities for students, both majors and non-majors to get involved. Okay, great. Well, anything else? I think that's good. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us for another Panther Chat. Um, remember that we have these every week um, over the course of this fall as well. So feel free to join us again and we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us, Professor Bolin. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. Bye. Bye.